In this video, we'll solve for the empirical formula of nicotine. So to solve for the empirical formula, we'll need the elemental makeup of the compound, which is given here on the left. And we'll also need the atomic mass of each element that's present within the compound. So an empirical formula is essentially a ratio of the elements to one another. So we need to find that ratio. And to do that, we'll use the elemental makeup. So let's say we have 100 grams of nicotine. That means for carbon, we have 74.03 grams of carbon. And if we divide carbon by the molar mass, we'll get the amount of moles of carbon for every 100 grams of nicotine, which in this case is 6.16 .6 moles. Now we want to do the same for each other element. So for hydrogen, we'll take 8.7 grams and divide it by 1.01 .01 grams per mole. And that gives us 8.61 moles. And for nitrogen, we'll take 17.27 grams divided by 14.01 .01 grams per mole. It's the atomic weight of nitrogen. All those atomic weights you can find on a periodic table. So now we have the number of moles of each element relative to one another. So we'll take the least common denominator, which in this case is nitrogen, and we'll divide each cor corresponding element by the mole amount of nitrogen. So for carbon, it'll be 6.16 over 1.23, which gives us 5.01, .01, which is roughly 5. 8.61 divided by 1.23 for hydrogen will give us 6.98, which is roughly 7. And then, of course, 1.23 divided by 1.23 will give us 1. So for empirical formulas, when you get values very close to a whole number, usually it's okay just to round up or round down accordingly. So in this case, our empirical formula will be C5H7 and just one nitrogen.